It's alive. The Wasteland is reborn. I saw life. Life is returning to the Waste. The Great One brings it to all of us. What have you got on your mind? Yes, by all means, let's! Something. Yes, by all means, let's! I shall follow!
You have something to say? Yes, by all means, let's. And I shall follow. You have something? Yes, by all means, let's. And I shall follow. All I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. I see. And where is this virus now? Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. An attack may be necessary now. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean... Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit, or the recon armor? Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. So do you think you can hold it together for this? Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. Hurry it up! 
Every minute you take is one more that we can't afford to spend. What have you got? Yes, by all means. Let's. something to say? Yes, by all means, let's... Is that really necessary? Need something, friend? All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us. For the Wastes. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it. With our thanks. Certainly. It's the least I could do after all you've done. Morning, sir. What can I do for you? I was going to attend the clairvoyance meeting, but it was cancelled due to unforeseen events. You have yourself a fine day, sir. I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. Oh, excellent. Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. Oh, what more could I ask for in a research assistant? So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. Those poor little mole ratties. I wonder if I could make a hypoallergenic version. Oh, but that'd hardly be effective. I should mention that. Proper handling of mole rats could be important if they could be domesticated. Milked, maybe? Oh, anyway, keep the repellent. Oh, but for your trouble, um, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks, and how intelligent and dangerous they are. 
That definitely deserves research. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I wouldn't ask if I couldn't fix you up afterwards, of course. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Heard a rumor a while back that it was some guy named Pinkerton at Rivet City. Apparently, he's got some sweet tech stashed on that boat. What do you need? Good hunting! If you've got the caps, I've got the skill. The info you're bringing back is great! Looking forward to more! Have something to say? If you insist, but do be careful. I can hardly repay your kindness while waiting back here. I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Are you serious? 
Why, I'll be. Thank you, stranger. I can't tell you what this means to Megaton. Well, back to work. Well, how do you feel? Oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still. And quit fidgeting. Ugh! How can you be walking around like this? Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Lurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. I got my eye on.